Has anybody here had the pleasure and the joy of meeting the Luckets, the initial teachings? My God! My God! My first trip out around the country in 1991, I stopped in Sedona, and there were these two people sitting up front, a big crowd doing a garden party, and wearing baseball caps. He was retired military. And then I listened in, I was like, wow, thank you Holy Spirit, this is great to hear these people. They're really experiential, I really like that. And then they all took off, uh, and I, I thought, I'll just follow along. I just happened, happened upon the whole gathering, I didn't even know it was there. And I followed them down towards the creek beds of Sedona. They were baptizing people. This is Course in Miracles students. They took the Course all over the world. All over the world. I would go places, Australia, they say, oh, the Luckets were here 10, I mean, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, at the same beach. And I'm like, oh. So, I'm walking down, I'm just following. I don't, at the time, I didn't know they were going to take people to the creek beds to baptize them. You know, that's stretched pretty far out. But I was following along the crowd. All of a sudden, this woman, she was, I think she was all dressed in purple, and she had the baseball cap, and she came swirling around me, and she planted the biggest kiss on my cheek. And it was Eulalia. What an expression of joy. Actually, the Luckets were Bill Thedford's teachers. He literally had gone through studying it and practicing it, and when he left Northern California, he said, I have to find joy, I have to find fun. He, had, he was really diligent with it, but he needed to find the fun factor, and the Luckets were that fun factor. And I, I've spent some time with them in Hawaii, they're still alive, up in the 80s, and um, I had lunch with them one time, and a friend of mine, Jason, was like saying, uh, how do you practice the Course nowadays? What are you doing? They said, we still sleep on, we switch opposite sides of the beds every night because we don't want to get too associated to one side of the bed. <laughs> Practicing a Course in your 80s, living it, loving it. We don't want to get too accustomed to being having our own side of the bed. No ownership, no possession. Let go of familiarity. Let go of everything you think you know, everything you think you think. I love it. I have such appreciation. Those are again, I was taking a group of people around, I call it the Legends Tour. Stop in and visit Jerry Jimpolsky, the Luckets, you know, Carol Howe. Judy, Whit, all of them, Bob. You know, it's a great tradition, and it's a great reflection, because there's a lot of devotion in that first generation, and every spiritual tradition has the elders. In the Native American tradition, the elders are important, the elders of the tribe. All traditions have the elders. There's an honoring of that reflection. And that's what I feel, in my experiences with them, is just being with them, I feel an honoring and a thank you. And that same thank you just rings out across the whole world. It just grows in your heart, and it spreads to everyone that you meet. 